right, what's going on guys? So, I'm gonna actually talk about trimming, all right? So in this video, we're gonna do trimming. In another video, we're gonna do corners and how I do the corners. So let's talk about trimming so far. So what I've done here is I've trimmed in the, in the tail light area. Super easy, obviously, the paint isn't very nice in here. We just wanna be a little bit careful. We don't press too hard, but as you can see, I did a really nice corner there and it comes up over top. There's no wrinkles, there's no overstretching or anything like that. There's a couple of debris things under there, but that's fine. When it comes to here now, so when we, when we wrap a bumper, or we wrap a panel where it meets another panel and we don't have a really large gap, this is a really tight gap since it's a BMW, what we wanna do is always mask off the opposite panel, all right? Let me actually snap off a blade because we're gonna need a sharp blade for this. And I'm going to trim, I'm gonna find that line of tape, okay? I'm gonna trim first one time And I'll actually even show you how I do the corner on this side. So no, I didn't make a video of the whole bumper wrap just because I'm trying to get it done. I have deadline to meet and we just got to get it done. So now what we do here is we're going to lift it up slightly off the tape and it's going to lift off the tape a lot easier. All right. And then what we want to do is push the vinyl into the recess while it's relaxed. When we get around to the top corner here, what we do is we take the vinyl and, and roll it. Whereas we take our squeegee and we roll it around the corner. So this is our initial, this is gonna be our initial push and then we're gonna do one more, all right? So we're just gonna, you can see that I'm just kind of, I'm not dragging the squeegee because I don't wanna cut the film, but I do want to push it in there as far as it will go. So let me grab the little tool I have, the wrap stick and which is wherever I put it. I had it, it's probably on my pouch and I don't know where that is, so. One sec, I'm open the trunk, is it in here? Yep, okay. All right, oh yes, and if you notice the trunk, it does have, this is silicone on the trunk and I'm not about to try to remove the silicone, so what we did is we just wrapped over it. This is a spoiler that goes back over top. I did not mount this, this uh, spoiler to begin with. So whoever did put silicone on the trunk, it's not really the right way to do it. Don't ever put silicone on your car. It's a really huge pain nightmare to take off, but it's there and we wrapped over it. It's fine because I did this last time and I wrapped over it and then I stuck the spoiler to it and it's totally fine. So let's get back to business over here and finish this off. So when we get down, to this corner over here. We want to tuck the film in, make sure it's good, right? And we still want it, we want it to roll around, all right? We need it to roll around. So what we need to do is tuck, add a touch of heat. And we still need it to roll around this side, okay? We don't, we don't have to remove the, the bumper to do this. You can do it in exactly the same fashion that I just did it in right there. And what I'm gonna do is relax it, glass it out a little bit more, and then start trimming. And you'll be able to see, the phone's ringing again. Let me just see who that is. I don't know who it is, so. We'll have to leave a message. All right, down here, when we come down to do this bottom corner, what I'm gonna do is just, we're gonna do a little pre-stretch. So stretch it out, and then look, see how I pull to this way and this way, and then down and around, all right? So, if you wanna come with the camera on this side, we can see right now, when I hit this with heat, boom, right? Russian hacker, <laughs> it, it, it hugs itself to the inside. Look at it just hugging itself to the inside. So all I wanna do now, is just make, have it make contact. So it's made contact, we can lock it all in, and then we can trim. So when it comes to trimming right now, when it comes to trimming, we can start wherever we please. We don't have to wrap around a lot. So I'm gonna go there, back of the blade, look at, look at the blade, all right? Depending on your area, this, your, the, how much blade you have sticking out 
will vary, all right? So sometimes when you're doing an area like this, you don't want to have that much blade sticking out. While you're doing an area like this, you can because it'll actually give you a better, a better baseline, like a better, uh, more stabilization, essentially. So you might notice some stuff in here. There's, there was seam tape in here before. It's still a little bit in there. I didn't do that before, but I mentioned this in the other video. So back of the blade, all right? Look at it, back of the blade along the back side. Okay, now that we get to the bottom, we'll finish off the top in a second. Let me just trim off the bottom piece. What I want it to do is heat it, make sure it all shrinks. And we're looking solid right there. We don't need to go crazy amounts underneath. We just need to get it to the bottom edge because this bumper runs very flat underneath. If you notice that you can still see color from like 20 feet back, then go in there and slap an inlay underneath. But you don't need to do all this in one piece. Depending on the car, it will vary. Then we'll go over it one more time. Emphasis with heat on the corners. Cool. So now that I've got that, now what I'm gonna do is come back up to the top here and use my little wrap stick. You can use a tinting triangle for this, something that's really narrow and we're gonna push in a little bit further. So you can see how I pull the vinyl off of the tape, all right? This allows a tension-free edge because we're laying the film in. Do not drag the wrap stick. It will, it will cut through the vinyl prematurely and we don't want that to happen. Cool, and then use the wrap stick in there, tuck that little bit in there, make a really nice corner, cool. I'm not putting a lot of tension on it, just enough. Let's put the wrap stick there and then choose a side to start on. I'll start over here. And we need to run our blade very carefully, as finely as we can, more on the top side edge, all right? So depending on this gap and depending on the car that you're doing, I need to switch spots with you. You're, you're gonna wanna wrap deeper in, all right? If you can see like white in there, you're gonna you're gonna be a little bit more cautious. You may want to loosen the bumper for this, though it isn't necessary most of the time. All right. So see how I have my hand planted to the vehicle, and then I have the blade in the recess. This way, we're not cutting any paints, and we're also less likely to slip with the blade. So as we get to the end, we have to be a little more cautious, and then come right out. All right. Let's take this off. We gotta go over it one more time with heat, seal the, seal the deal. And use the thicker squeegee. So we're gonna heat it. So when I go over the corners, I round them like that, all right? Add a touch of heat, and that finishes it up really nice. So when we look at the corner, it generally looks really good. And then we've got a beautiful wrap. A little tape stuck in there. There we go. Cool, so we have a nice clean cut and we have a nice clean corner. This is all covered by the tail light. Let's talk about the rest of this now. So what we need to do is we have this area here, which I've already laid into. I'm just going to take my blade and run it in the recess. Cool. So this has all been repainted. Not, we don't have to worry too much about it. It's really messed up and the rear bumper had a bit of um, mistakes on it as well, like some paint coming off and stuff like that, which I had to sand down. So we're going to do our best, obviously, to always not cut things, but if I happen to make a mistake on this, not, big, not that big of a deal, I'm just always try not to. All right, so it's in the recess. Again, blade in the recess, finger mounted to the vehicle, 
our hands mounts to the vehicle and it's as it's we're using it as a guide, all right? That's my hand you hear squeaking along the car. Oh, there's probably a little pebble in there. There we go. Sometimes you'll, you'll get hung up on like a little pebble in the recess just because the blade is really fine and it's gonna go a little bit further in to these recessed areas than, than the vinyl will. So again, what do we need to do? We need to go over this with heat. And then we're gonna cut out the these little light areas because I've done an inlay in them. This one I don't need to use the uh, wrap stick, I can just use and just use the uh, more firm, wider squeegee. So you can see the paint has come off on this little spoiler or diffuser, sorry. So you wanna hit it with a bit of heat. This is the part where the paint came off. I did a pretty good job of sanding it down. You might see a little bit of a difference right there. I can kind of see it. I'm not a professional body guy. And if you have customers asking, don't pretend to be unless you are. But if you know if it's something you feel comfortable doing and the customer feels comfortable giving that job to you, then cool. Saw a little bubble here. Let's get that out. There we go. All right. So now what we need to do, this is the last sensor over here. Now what we need to do is do our inlay area, or our recessed area. So I'm gonna just push this in. This is for the tow hook. I'll cut that out after. And then this is our recess for where our inlay is. So I ran the inlay pretty far up to the top. We wanna be a little cautious still, so I'm gonna come a little bit lower can see the line. See how I'm just using my hand on the vehicle? Look how straight that cut is. As we get down to here, I'll be able to push in a little bit more and find my inlay for the very corner. Cool, it should be good. All right. Again, as I have less tension here, I can find where I need to cut to. Cool. So that should essentially fold down. Now, I've got to push the rest of this in. I'm gonna start up here. And look, it doesn't make it, right? So I have a slight sliver, which is kind of a bummer actually, but I'm going to try to fix this right now. So this is troubleshooting. Let me grab the little wrap stick so I can pull this out. I'm going to try to stretch the film slightly so I can have it make that top edge. All right, I'm gonna take the stretch from down here. I saw it shrink a little bit, so. All right, so I'm pulling the film up, and it's difficult to do with such a small piece, but look, I made it now. Were you able to get that on camera before, or I missed it? So there was a sliver of black showing up here. What I did with the top inlay is I came down a little bit lower than just the corner. You don't wanna go right into the corner because when you cut, the vinyl isn't gonna fall quite in the way you think that it's going to. So again, I have a tiny sliver over there. I'm going to draw the film. So let's, let's just see, I'll show you right now. So there's a tiny spot right there. I'm gonna draw the film over into that edge a little bit, straight from the middle, just to hopefully give me enough. It's challenging when you're doing inlays because we don't actually know it's all a guessing game, so I can't quite get it yet. This is where tweezers would help, but I don't have any here. I'm gonna stretch it across a little bit more. 
starting over here. There. So that'll be good. Perfect. Cool? So we don't have, all we have is tension pulling across when we're doing that. I'm stretching across this way. As long as I don't stretch too much, we shouldn't run into an issue. Now I have a little crease right here, so let's hope I don't mess everything up by trying to fix it. No, we're good. And what we're going to do is lay right in here first. I, I tried to take this out, but I think I have to remove the bumper and I didn't want to remove the bumper just for that. So, so that's my blade. I'm just going to show you the one side, I'll, I'm going to do the other side off camera, but just want you guys to see how things can happen sometimes with your inlays. And I wanted you guys to see how the cutting goes and you know how to troubleshoot that kind of stuff because it's important, it happens. So it wasn't completely game over and I didn't have to stick a patch in there because I never ever ever stick a patch in anything regardless of what you might see on the internet. I never put a patch on anything, all right? So don't patch something. If you do it, you have to do it very nicely. You're not just gonna stick a patch in there that doesn't make any sense and doesn't flow with the, the, the flow of the car. Go over with the soft edge first. And again, depending on the color of the vehicle, you may have to go a little bit further in. You may end up wanting to take those out. This is a black vehicle, so it's not the end of the world. We can go pretty much just under the, the light and it have, looks like it has full coverage. Let's take that off. So now you can have a good look at what that looks like. I did this right now 10 times better than I did before. When I did this before, what I did was I put an inlay on the bottom just because that made sense to me and then overlapped it with the top piece. Because I, in, from when I started wrapping it was that everything always has to face down, but that's not the case. It looks a million times better this way than it did the other way. All right guys, so that is trimming and cutting uh, some areas of the vehicle and how we go about doing the inlay area. If I wanna just finish this off, I'll do this quick. It's not difficult. Again, positioning your hand so that it's, ma it's, it's mounted. So what I do now is that once it starts to get flimsy for this piece, I hold on to it and it creates tension on the film. It makes the cut that much cleaner if we have tension on the film. If the film is flopping around, it won't come out clean. Now what we can do is take the heat, press it in there, round it around, roll it around, sorry. And we're done. So I'm, I'm super happy with how that turned out. It looks fantastic. I will do the other side of this and call it a day. Uh, next video guys is the front bumper, I believe. We're gonna do some corners as well, so I'll do a separate video on just corners so you guys can see corners, because you guys keep asking about cutting and corners. I figure most of the time I am showing these things in my videos, but maybe I'm not, so I'm gonna do specific videos just like this one for things like that. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, take care.